Hello there everyone. Right now in Cobalt, it's 4.28pm on Saturday, July 25th, 2020. The second bug off of the season runs until 6pm today. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. And welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Horizons. So last time we took a look at the uh, July update uh, with the diving and swimming, if I'm not mistaken. And this time we're checking back in because there's a few things I wanted to go over about my town and the update. So off screen, I actually had a run in with Gulliver, the pirate variation of Gulliver um, added in the July update. So I'll include the footage on screen. And basically the way this works is you have to find his communicator in the water by diving. Um, and Gullivar has his own set of rewards that are pirate themed. Um, the other big thing is that I've, I've spent a lot of time working on my town. Um, so I set up this little cafe area. I don't think that was like this um, last time. So I set this up. Um, I set up a dirt path here uh, for a little flower bed. I thought that would look nice. Uh, up here I added a little swimming pool area. I think right here. Uh, I'm going to change this up every season. So um, being summer I set up a little pool set up here. I think uh, in different seasons I'll try something different with different types of furniture. Um, the bug off is happening today. Uh, we might try that, that out in a bit. Um, over here we have the pink and yellow roses. I'm trying to get a hybrid red rose, which is different than a normal red rose, um, in order to get a few more rose types. Um, so that's not going so great. I have one red hybrid rose here, but that's all. Um, luckily it's been raining a little bit, so I haven't had to water too much. Um, we have this little beach kind of barbecue, uh, hangout area down here. Um, I'm pretty sure that was similar to how it, it was last time. Um, let's see, over here, I actually spent a lot of time uh, setting up uh, all of the rocks to spawn in this area. So, this was an idea I saw a lot of people doing online. So the way this works is... You basically put up mannequins from the custom designs. Um, and there's a very specific reason why you want to go with mannequins. Um, if you change the, the design on a mannequin, um, all of the mannequins that are on display will disappear. So what you do is you basically need um, room on all sides around, around the rock. So you put mannequins in places where a rock could spawn. So like a rock normally won't spawn next to a tree. So you'd have to put a mannequin like between these two trees and so on. It took a lot of trial and er error, uh, but I finally got it to work, and now all the rocks are in one place. By the way, uh, you actually have to set the path down um, where you want the rock to go, otherwise it will not... Um, it won't appear... Like, you can't put a path down when there's already a rock, so I set the dirt path up um, in advance, but I also set up the hard path around the dirt to keep it uh, from spawning anywhere else here, because it also can't spawn in pathways. Um, so that took a while, but I think it was ultimately worth it, because one, it looks nicer, and two, it makes it really easy to uh, collect the bells from the money rock and also materials each day. Um, so, the next update is slated for the beginning of August, so that'll be interesting to see. Uh, so it shouldn't be too long until we head back to town. Uh, Puddles moved out off-screen. Um, no one has moved in, which is interesting. I doubt I have enough time to try to get someone to move in, because you have to invite someone to the campsite three days um, total, and there's no way I can do that before someone moves in on their own. Um, actually, I might go to a mystery island to see if I can uh, recruit someone. Um, that might be interesting. But uh, I think this is largely the same as it has been. The little park area up here on the cliff I've tweaked a little bit. Um, I'm trying to basically 
uh, have more varied furniture, um, because that apparently helps your town rank. By the way, I'm still stuck at, um, uh, four stars. Uh, weirdly enough, um, these plants here, uh, if I'm not mistaken, are indicators of a perfect town, the Lily of the Valley plant. Um, as soon as I removed all the mannequins, and went to talk to Isabel, it was back down to 4 stars, so I guess having so many mannequins all over the place got it up to 4 stars, or 5 stars for some reason. Um, so I should have talked to Isabel first, and gotten the reward for a 5 star town before taking down all the mannequins. Oh well, I still have those two there, um, but I do want to get the 5 star rating um, again and try to maintain it. So this area's been tw tweaked a little bit, not too much. Um, I did put up the uh, stone arch behind the Tanuki statue uh, for uh, uh, added uh, decoration. And I, I'm i not sure if this was here last time. I set up a little path over here uh, that goes to the beach um, where uh, Charlie Red shows up, so that's new. Um, other than that, the next big thing I wanted to show was at the museum. So off screen, I found the last fossil that was missing. I'll put that dialogue up on the screen now of what Blather says when you donate the last fossil. Um, but yeah, we have a completed fossil set now. So let's take a look really quickly here. I don't know when I'm going to finish the other sections of the museum because those are more, um season-based and uh, luck-based in the case of, of uh, Crazy Red. Um, I have not had good luck finding him, even despite the fact that the July update uh, tweaked spawn rates slightly to make it more varied. Um, I don't remember the specifics, but it was designed to make it so you would have a better chance of seeing certain characters. Um, and that being said, I've still only seen Red twice this month, and one time he was selling uh, all fakes. So I have not made good progress on the museum still, despite the update. I have seen Gulliver twice in his regular form, but only Pirate Gulliver um, once. And I've seen Wisp a couple times, one time I forgot to actually talk to him, and then hours later I realized, wait a minute, I never actually talked to him. Um, I haven't seen Celeste all month, which is weird. Um, I think they actually tweaked something about shooting stars as well uh, in this last patch. They don't give concrete patch notes for this game, so it's all kind of based on data mining and what people observe. Um, one notable change that is applicable to today is the bug off would normally cause KK to appear at um, 6 p.m. on Friday nights instead of Saturday. Um, because that would cut into a, a visitor slot, um, KK was moved actually to Sunday night if there was an event in the town square. So for the fishing tourney and bug off, um, KK will appear on Sunday night instead of Friday, which is a good change. So now you have uh, another shot at a character a week um, instead of just having KK hogging up a space. Um, but yeah, having more uh, detailed patch notes would be really nice, so it's not a lot of guesswork. Um, but yeah, as of now, I'm still only at a 4 star town rating. Um, I apparently need a lot more decorations, so that's gonna take a while. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the reward should be a golden watering can recipe that's similar to the um, golden slingshot we have, where it will still break, but it takes like hundreds of uses instead. So it's a lot more durable, but it still will break. Alright, so let's pick up a Nook Miles ticket and see who we get to join our town. At this point, I'm not too picky on who uh, comes to visit uh, or comes to live in town. 
Um, I got a lot of the characters that I really wanted that I have cards of. Um, there are a few characters I would love to add, but I, but I legitimately do not have their amiibo cards. Like Cube from the original, um, and a few other characters. Namely like cats and penguins. Um, but yeah, we have like Daisy and Marshall and Rosie. So that's something, but... Still, I would would have liked to have more characters, but um, the cards def definitely went up in price when Amiibo features were announced for this game. So I kind of missed out on the opportunity to pick up some last minute uh, character cards. I still need to get the Nook Miles achievement for mailing letters. I just don't like writing letters in Animal Crossing. It's not something I do in any game um, for some reason. Alright, so let's head to a mystery island and see who we get. Alright, so... There should be someone here, since we're missing a- we have an open slot for someone. Alright, we do have a camper and it is an eagle. I am okay with this. Um, the, the eagle characters tend to be really cool too. Um, I don't recognize this design though. Wow, I thought I'd be the only one on this tour. I'm Celia. You're Jonathan? Did you really come here all the way from Cobalt? I think I flew past Cobalt once. It looked pretty from the air. It must be true what they say about how travel broadens your horizons. This change of scenery is giving me a new perspective on life back on my island. I like it well enough, but... Oh wow, that's such a great idea. Thank you for encouraging me. When I ran into you, I never expected to be invited to live on your island. Unless you were just teasing me. Do you really mean it, Feathers? Oh, this is all so exciting. I can't wait to start packing up for my big move after this tour. If I remember right, I'm supposed to contact someone named Tom Nook by relocating. I'd better do that before I forget. Well, that was easy. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen her before. Either she's new, or just there were so many characters that, um, statistical probability of seeing every character in Animal Crossing is, like, astronomically low. Um... I don't know the exact number, but I want to say there's about, uh, 400... Is it 490, or am I thinking of the Sinnoh Pokédex? <laughs> that might be the Sinnoh Pokédex. It might be 390 for Animal Crossing. Um, either way, there's a lot of villagers. Um... So, the, yeah, there's gonna be characters I've never seen before. Um, and they did add a lot of new characters. I'm trying to remember if the fan-favorite character, Raymond, was new to this game, or if he was also in, um, New Leaf. I'm not sure if he was. While we're flying back to town, I think I'll look that up. Alright, so Celia was in New Leaf. I was just double-checking, so now I'm going to see if Raymond was. I want to say he's new. Yeah, he's new. Um... I'm not even sure who all the new characters are in this game. Um... Apparently they, they also added Raymond into Pocket Camp as well, so that's neat. Uh, we actually do need to participate in the bug off because, um... There is a Nook Miles achievement for participating in all four events for the seasons. I'm not sure how winter will go because there aren't that many bugs in winter. Um, so that'll be interesting to see. Alright, so, uh, we have to catch three bugs, uh, to get a point bonus. If we get 300 points, we get a trophy! Uh, a gold trophy. If you get 200, you get a silver trophy, and if you get 100, you get a bronze trophy. 
I remember thinking during the first fishing tour that this was really weird, or fishing tourney, uh, that this whole system was really weird, and I kind of realized why, and I'm not sure if I actually went over my thoughts in the video, but basically I realized that in um, the older games, what you could do is, if, since it was based only on size, you could go to uh, the island, as an example, in New, in New Leaf, um, and catch like a shark or a rainbow uh, beetle, and then just save a bunch of them for each fishing turn or bug off. Um, so actually making it like you have to catch uh, enough bugs to gain enough points within a day forces you to actually participate within the actual day instead of um, being able to just kind of cheese it uh, beforehand. So it, so I get why it's set up this way. I kind of miss the old setup though. Um, partly because of how easy it was to win last fishing tourney earlier this month. I only got uh, about 200 points, uh, so I got a silver trophy. I can actually show that off before we end this um, part. And yeah, the next uh, check-in will probably be, uh, I hope, around the first week of August, um, which is only like a week from now, um, for the August update. I really hope they add something really big. Um, the teaser image heavily implied fireworks, which is a tradition for the series to have a fireworks festival in August. Um, I just really hope they had the cafe soon because of how it was data mined so long ago and it still hasn't been added. Um, again, Brewster and the cafe are some of my favorite uh, locations in uh, the game since Wild World, so it's a little bit of a shame to me that they never... Um, that they still haven't added him back yet. Hopefully soon. Um, overall, I feel like this game really has changed quite a bit since launch. But even then, it's still missing a lot of things that would make it a lot more of a complete package. I know I've used this analogy before, but it's very reminiscent of Splatoon. Where Splatoon 2 at launch compared to Splatoon 2, or compared to Splatoon 1, at the end of its life cycle, um, was kind of rough, but you know, Splatoon 2 obviously surpassed it eventually. That's kind of just the whole problem with games as a service, or, um, you know, basically games that get updates throughout. They kind of feel a little bit unpolished at launch, but they get there eventually. Uh, and I truly feel like New Horizons will probably end up b being the best Animal Crossing eventually, but we'll have to see how long it takes. Alright, so, um, I'm not gonna really spend too much time here on the bug off. Um, probably next time I'm going to give it a legitimate shot, um, try to start early and catch as much as possible. Um, but for now, I do want to quickly go back to my house and show off uh, what's happening. I have been working on the mermaid set a little bit. Um, not going super great because I'm getting a lot of pearls from um, Pascal. I actually don't know if I have the fishing trophies out, so we'll have to see. Um, yeah, I do. So I have the bronze and silver both from the last fishing tourney. Got a little bit of an egg theming still. Uh, so I'm gonna keep working on this set and we should check back in shortly. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me next time for more Animal Crossing New Horizons.